I'm I. Cole, former games journalist, current games designer, and this is my incredibly messy office. Let's see, I got a uh, 3D printed Lost Soul. I got the uh, Undertale art book. Uh, it's cold and flu season. But this, the video you're watching, is I. Coleman is doomed. About a year and a half ago, I swore that I would beat every single Doom game on the hardest non-nightmare difficulty using only the weakest weapons. In that time, I've managed to beat Doom 1, Doom 2, and all of their expansions. I'm sorry, what? The master, master what? But now I'm going where no Doom player has ever gone before. Quite literally, because no one has ever attempted to play Doom 3 using only the pistol and fists. My only companion, as I venture into the unknown, is a mysterious figure known only as the editor. Even I know essentially nothing about the true nature of this person, but you'll be able to recognize them through the helpful tips and comments they leave me throughout my journey. Like this one! Now I'm gonna be straight with you folks, this is gonna be hard. We'll have to contend with difficult boss battles, claustrophobic environments, and the all-new third dimension using only the pistol. Even if I make it out alive, there's no guarantee that I'll make it out safe. But if watching a man lose his mind sounds like your idea of a fun Thursday night, then behold, for I, Coleman, is doomed. Editor, roll my music. That is not my music. Okay. Time for some Doom 3. I'm gonna be playing the BFG edition, which is a more recent remastered version of the game. This is partially because we want to do the Lost Mission expansion, which is BFG edition exclusive, and so I figured I'd play the other two games the same way. But also the BFG edition looks a little nicer and runs a little better, and in my experience, is much more willing to behave with recording software, so that's what we're doing. It's basically the same game, but there is one minor difference that we'll discuss when we come to it. Anyway, let's go ahead and just hop right in. Doom 3, hardest non-nightmare difficulty. Let's go. So Doom 3 came out at, you know, a long time after the original Doom games. It's very different. It's much more modernized. Uh, it's more of a survival horror game with guns in it than like a really satisfying first person shooter, which some people hated about it. I'm on record as saying that I love Doom 3. Uh, even despite and perhaps because of all its differences. It also has a really interesting story, but we're basically not going to pay attention to any of it because this is a comedy show and it's not very funny. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. That's Petruger. He's a normal guy, having a normal time, doing normal things. And this is Fat Spaceship. It's like a normal spaceship, but it's fat. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control, and if that fails, I'm the damage. Hey look, it's me! But first, it's time for us to experience the excitement of... Shipping Manifest! Aw oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Please move along. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. Okay, jeez. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. Expedited processing. Off, Please proceed directly to the too. You know, there was a time when I unironically believed that Doom 3 had the best graphics that there would ever be. Like, it looked so far beyond anything else at the time, I just assumed this was it. This was the peak. Monkey Man here. That's what it was all about. And this is the vastly improved edition. Not the original graphics. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. You're not the boss of me. Let's see... Uh, he seems pretty serious about this. Maybe I could just... Okay, let me get this started. Haha, <laughs> you will scan nothing! Moving around only makes the test take longer. Alright, 
Bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. This is your personal data assistant. Look at this advanced science fiction technology. A larger, worse phone. So the PDA is a fun mechanic. It lets you check your email, watch movies that you collect, you know, stuff like that. We're basically gonna skip it though, because again, it won't be very fun to watch. I'm just playing with a list of all the locker codes, and if you have a problem with that, well, I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry, and I want to know how we can move on. There we go. That's the stuff. Yeah, let's equip it. Thank you for your cooperation. Why can't I equip my fists? I want to punch him. I want to punch him in the head. Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? Hi, Betruger. No, the board doesn't know the first thing about science. Ooh, Nobody get him! Is. Get him, Malcolm. Don't worry. Mess him up. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. Ah, uh, nice try, Malcolm. I'm really, I was rooting for you there. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. <laughs> I'm not evil, though. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Nope, nope, come on! Come on! Excuse me. Got him. Oh my goodness, there's so much talking. Someone new. Uh so much talking! Uh talking! Why isn't there anything fun in this whole Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3? I take it all back, this game is a masterpiece. I really do genuinely like this section, but it's, you know, it's not very video friendly. This is Sergeant Kelly. He's a good friend. Even if his eyes and teeth are wrong. Just wrong. Do not hurt him. I make no promises. Okay, here's the first locker. I know the code for this from this audio log, which we're gonna go ahead and not listen to. That's gonna be three, nine, six. We're gonna need every last scrap of ammo we can get. Most unexciting place on Mars. Please give me a gun. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. And now I have my fists back. Okay, you're all set. All right. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. <laughs> Man, what is it with you and that song? Okay, so now we get to the major difference between the BFG edition of Doom 3 and the original version. It used to be that you couldn't hold a gun and a flashlight at the same time, because Doom 3 is a horror game, and that made for some really interesting horror encounters where you had to decide whether you wanted to see the monsters or fight them. But a bunch of dumb idiots who don't understand game design complained, and now you can have your flashlight and the gun at the same time making the experience actually worse. So I'm making a new, unofficial rule for myself. To replicate the experience of the original game, I don't get to shoot or punch while the flashlight is on. I've always said that that's the way the game was meant to be played, and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. Let's demonstrate how this rule works. No shooting. Shooting. Now we're gonna run out to the Martian surface. Ah, uh, listen to those breathing sounds. Finally, a game with the asthmatic representation I crave. Huh? No, no, please. Well, this seems bad. All in all, not the worst first day of work I've had. Ah! No! Stop! Stop it! Cut out! Gotta get those bullets. Take that! And that! Hi, Betruger! Okay, finally in the game proper. I gotta say, after spending so long playing Classic Doom, it feels nice just to jump. Okay. This is like jousting. How about the. Avast! Ugh! Even now, this game still gets to me. Please don't wrench my head. 
Uh oh. That was a nope. Yep. Ow. Jeez. I want to keep punching for as long as I can, but uh, that might have been a gunworthy moment. Ow. Ow. Nice combat roll. Wait. What? Well, this is worse than useless. Uh. <laughs> okay. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Boom. Headshot. 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 Got it. First try. Hey, you're gonna... You're, you're gonna edit out all those other tries, right? I'll save you! I'm getting out of here. Thanks for all the help. Ow! Holy crap! Did you see how much damage that did? Pretty hard for these guys to hit you, but I guess if they do, they pack a punch. That's the shotgun. It's also a trap. And since we can't use it, there's really no reason for us to pick it up. Uh-oh. Yep, that guy's got a shotgun. Wow, the pistol's, uh, crap, huh? This might be trickier than anticipated. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got... No, this is beneath me. These guys are supposed to be, like, scientists. Big nerds. How did they get so swole? I'm a big nerd, and I guarantee you, if I punch somebody, would not do that much damage. Can't go that way. Guess I'll go this way. Oh, boy. That there's an imp. We are not big fans of the imp. Uh, crap. So here's something fun. It appears you can't skip the cutscenes in the BFG edition. No, 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 no. Ugh. Wow, the pistol is uh, hot garbage, huh? I'm gonna have to get really good at landing headshots, which deals extra damage. We're gonna need every last drop of extra damage. Oh uh, yeah, here I was, cruising past all the zombies, thinking, wow, it's gonna be easy. I'm not gonna have any troubles with this game whatsoever. Unless, of course, two imps happen, then I'm toast. Yeah, try it, ugly. Okay, well, a beloved uh, I Coleman is Doomed bit has made its return. Unexpectedly falling down. No, I will not just reload. I'm gonna walk all the way back up. And then I'm gonna die and reload anyway. Ah, jeez. Holy crap, fastest punch in the West. Ugh, finally. Take that, and that, ugh. I guess that makes sense. Oh, sweet health. Oh, sweet zombie noises. Oh, sweet imp noises. Oh, dear. If I go out here, it looks like I'll have a little more room to fight. Maybe I can actually dodge these fireballs. Oh, no! I forgot you could do that! Please, 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 please. <sighs> Horror game. Oh, sweet mystery of life, at last I found you. Wall mounted health. God bless you half-life ripping off game developers. Okay, how come when he scratches me with claws, it does less damage than some pasty asthmatic punching me in the head? You know what? It may be time to bring back another time-honored I. Coleman's Doom strategy. Just running. Just running on past. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I want to get out. Oh. Oh. Eight. Uh-oh. Other than the fact that that didn't really work, it kind of worked. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. And the third, and perhaps most important Night Coleman is Doom tradition, saving in a terrible place. Ugh. You're the worst. Remember when I had health? All right, I've got a strat for this one. There we go. And that's totally legit. Check the rules in the description. Roger that, Fireteam 2. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Nom 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 nom. Oh, what? Alright, there you are. I see you. 
Ah, I see. You ran out of the way of the bullets. Very clever. This is Bravo Team. The monorail track is destroyed. This is the worst Disney World visit ever. Over. Oh, got too close. I'll just go ahead and, uh... Must you? Hmm. Let's try something. Oh, nope. Nope! Okay, watch this. Watch right there. Haha. Doom 3 is a well-programmed game. So there's a secret I know of that lets you unlock all of this, but uh, we won't be able to use the machine gun or the shotguns, so it doesn't seem worth it. Let's see if I can just hop into the elevator. First we'll lure him out. Now we grab this. Activate this. Oh jeez. Let me in! Wow, I don't think that ended up helping us at all, did it? Open this. Wait for that guy to walk out, and... And we're in. That was the end of the first real level of Doom 3. So this seems like a good place to stop this first episode. I mean, how appropriate. Episode 69 of I, Coleman is Doomed, how does it end? Nice. Editor, why don't you play everybody our new outro music? What is wrong with you?